Welcome to Inside the Soundwave Internet TV Show, live from the beaches of Indian Atlantic, Florida, where all of your local musicians get to tell their music story from the beginning to the present. And now, here's your host, Mr. Soundwave. Are we on? We're on. I don't know if my mic's even on. Oh, you can hear me? Yeah, we can see Hello, everybody. Oh, we can see me? Can you can <laughs> hear me? Good, because you don't look at me. Look at Steve. <laughs> no, no. Steve. Steve. I'm back yeah, again. Steve Murray, back by t- popular demand. Um, helping me out, too, by by cancellation and mix-up and, and things like that. But Steve got a message from me with tears attached and uh, panic attached. And uh, please, Steve. And, and, he and came, I came back. <laughs> he came back because... Um, He's 8,000 views already in a week and still growing, so um, he helped me out a lot. He's got a lot of people watching around the world. And yeah, it's mostly uh, my friends around the world. And I've had a lot of guests on the show. This is show 25, and I haven't, uh, I've really not connected with, with everybody that's been on the show, even though I know them all, and they're all great musicians and great people, and I love them all. But I connected with Steve and, and it, He's a great guy. I, I, I love having him here and, and getting him upstairs in the recording studio. Yep, that's nice. In, in the very near future and getting his CD out for all of you people out there. Yes. Right? You're going to work on that, right? going to work on it very soon. Very soon? Yep, within a couple of weeks. Whoa. We'll couple be up of, there. A <laughs> couple of weeks? Did you hear that? I know. Well, if you didn't hear it right now at 2 o'clock, well, you'll hear it later on after 5 or 4. Actually, with the new engineer we got going on right now, uh, Keen, uh, it'll probably be up and ready closer to four o'clock instead of five. And our new engineer, oh, Keen Boyd, that's the one I'm talking about right now. Oh, the okay. fell in there right now is Keen Boyd. Um, we want to—I want to thank him personally. I know this is Steve show, but I just want to take the time, short time, to tell everybody that Keen Boyd is doing one hell of a job for the studio here downstairs um, in both studios and the soundstage and um, helping me upstairs every day. Every day Keen's here and he, he, he donates a lot of his time to help us do this and uh, we, are, we love him. He's part of the family now because he's taking a step, uh, step in faith and uh, by helping us out. And he knows in the long run he'll be, he'll be doing all right. Now, we keep getting people like Steve on the show, and uh, we'll be bumping Leno. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and move Conan. over. Move over. Move over. Move over. Wait a minute. <laughs> move over, NBC. Yep. Okay? <laughs> Never mind Fox, because we don't have millions of dollars to get on your tube. We can do it right here on our own soundstage with good people like Steve, right? Yes. And we can play live, too. We can play live right here, even if there's some Rock squeaking music. and microphone problems. Yeah. Well. And a little bit of volume <laughs> going up. We're going to get that straight We're going to get it fixed up. I watched the Today Show today, and I saw several major mistakes in a major million-dollar production. So don't believe it. We don't need NBC. We're live. We, we don't can't need mess NBC, up. <laughs> ABC, CBS, or Fox. We have ISW. Real stuff. Steve! Steve, uh, we were just upstairs talking, Steve and I, um, about some of the things going on um, with Steve. He wanted to just say hi to a lot of the folks that are around the uh, world. Yeah, that helped promote that last uh, TV show. Uh, I have, I think his name is Et. It's E-E-T. He's in Japan. Uh, Sabrina in Italy. Uh... Hannah Pop in Italy, <coughs> Nina in Greece, Frank Bassis in Belgium. For all you people, and there's many more, I have to write down all the names that helped promote this last TV show and put it worldwide, where rock and roll seems to be more popular than around our own corner. So, you know, thank you very much. And I will have all the names of everybody and where you're from. And Ed Serajin, he's in Japan, and his, the name of his band is Adane, E-D-A-N-E. You have to check out that band. They, they're 
American. <laughs> are they American group? They're, no, they're, a, they're Japan, but oh, Japan. But they play American music really good. You know, they're into our classic rock, but they play originals that sound like our classic rock. So uh, I want to thank him because he's got millions of fans. He's like the number one band in Japan. They have hit songs one right after another. So thanks for being my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Twitter. Amazing. You know, people around the world on Twitter. I mean, I just click on Twitter, um, the TV show, and, and like I get 50 views within a minute. And it goes all around the world. And I know you are true friends that I know on there. So it's not like... Uh, like phony or anything and thanks for really watching and clicking the like page too yeah so we'll be coming back for a lot more <coughs> amazing I, I, and I, we're I, gonna be playing soon here on the stage yeah well I'm gonna try to get Steve and, and some of the boys in the band yep. guest teaser or whatever Steve wants to put together and we're gonna well yeah we've got the open mic thing going on yeah that'll be the 27th we're coming down right and um, Jim Griffin, our singer, he can't make it that night, uh, but I'm going to have Wes Reimer come and West sing. Down? Yeah. <laughs> and he'll sing with us that night. But this Saturday night coming for St. Patrick's Day weekend, we're playing at the Dog and Bone British Pub with the full GS Teaser Band, which is Jim Griffin, Bill Wixon, Chris Richardson, and me. And we're going to be playing live our full set of our songs and cover songs. And come and check this out. It's, real, it's going to be really good. We had band rehearsal last night, and we sounded great. That's great. You know, we sounded so good. Saturday night? Saturday night at the Dorgan Bone, British where, pub. Where was that again? Then? That's in Coco Village. I, I'm sorry i got to write it down because my wife and I want to go out and check this. Dog and Bone. And it's in Coco? Coco oh, Coco Village. Village. Yeah. You already, yeah, we already talked. That's yeah, right. yeah. Oh, I'll find that. So, okay. And the place and sounds go really see. good. It has a good uh, acoustics in there, and um, you'll really enjoy it. Is there any admission to get in? Or Nothing. Nothing. We play it for free. They got a dance floor? No. A little bit yeah, of a dance floor? Yeah, a little bit of a dance floor, and um, they have an upstairs if you want to go dance upstairs, you know, to a jukebox. Oh, but not to the band. Not to the band. We're kind of like a concert band almost. You know, we have a couple of danceable songs, but it's more uh, oh, of our... Uh, a show band. Type a show band, yeah, no like you watch us. Oh, you know, like cool. you watch Jimi Hendrix, you know, you don't dance to him. <laughs> you know. I didn't know that. I mean, so... It's more of a musician's band, but we do have a, a few danceable songs, and we didn't pick them out, really, but... Uh, we just seen people dancing to him, so. And who's in that group on. that's playing Saturday night? Jim Griffin, yeah. lead vocals, me on guitar, right. Bill Wixon on bass, hey, and, and Chris. Chris Richardson on the drums. Okay. That's the, the, the real GS Teaser band. band. That is the real band. GS Teaser is like the musicians. Jim is with me most of the time. Uh -huh. and, uh, but, you know, he has other projects, so right. he does the best he possibly can. Hey, he's coming us. on in April. Yeah, with Chris Rizzola. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Chris, great he's, guy. Uh, uh, Jim's got a hell of a voice. Yeah, he, and he keeps getting better. Wow. You know, every time, like last night, he sang unbelievably. I was messing up on the guitar because I was listening to him. And he's, <laughs> <laughs> I said, wow, this sounds great. <laughs> I said, I wish we did this on the show the other day. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Well, we'll get you guys. Hopefully. Yeah, well, next month, uh, Jim can make it for the open mic. So he just can't make the 27th. But when you have the open mic yeah. again, he'll be at that one. Oh, so good. That, you know. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, because uh, I, I've heard a lot about him. Uh, and of course, the, the other guy, the uh, what is it, Riz, uh, Chris Rizzoli. He was Rizzoli. Rizzoli. Yeah. yeah, he's he's unbelievable. He's I watched him. He plays my guitar, and he just blows me away. He's like great guitar player. Mm -hmm. 
and he and every time I see him, he's even better. <laughs> yeah, he can. You know, I I love the way he plays. Can you imagine getting somebody like, like yourself <clears throat> and and him on the stage with Jack Starr, yeah, and a few other ones around that are really good, like all these are. That'd be phenomenal if we could get something like that done. I'd love to get a a guitar uh, a guitar group down here all <laughs> on the stage and have a drummer and a bass player in the back. But line up the guitar players up front and let them all go ahead and take a turn and that slice it nice. up. <laughs> that would be so cool. Who gets to play the drums? <laughs> that would be that would be Bill Beats. I'll be back there with some maracas and a, and a tambourine. We can switch off. I'll play the school. <laughs> we got enough drum sets with you and all these others around here. We could have three drummers back there and do a Doobie Brother thing and uh, plus a drummer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. We, Bill and I have thought about having a guitar thing. That would be you know? really nice, you know, to get all the guys together. Because we all know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. And we all have our own you style, just, but it does blend together. We all came from the same school, you know, of guitar playing. We just had a playing. jam like that not too long ago somewhere. Yeah, the crew jam. Yeah, uh, uh, Jack and was Jack, there. Yeah, Jack played with me and uh, my band and... And even Lose Blues, Monday night, he came down that night and we jammed right, again. Right, right, because I saw his post said he was at Lose Blues. Yeah. I saw that. So he, we jammed that night. I know Jack from Long Island, New York. Of course. You know, I mean, you're, you're neighbors. <laughs> yes. Even though it's big, you're still neighbors. Yes. You know? It's an island. Man, you could go off the end of that island and be no man's land. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Montauk. <laughs> yeah. That's the end. Man, that's... That's out there. Yeah, that's where uh, I used to hang out most Doesn't of the time. Doesn't it get really lonely out, kind of empty out there? Well, Isn't that's it? where a lot of wine vineyards are and stuff out towards uh, the east and the Hamptons. All the millionaires live out there, and you know, Billy Joel lives there. And and didn't they find that cemetery? Oh, they found all those bodies out there not too long ago. Unfortunately, some, yeah, some kind. Of, they found a whole bunch of female bodies out there or something. Yeah, they... Somewhere's on Long Island. Yeah, it's been going on there for years. Yeah, I guess the person's been... Doing it... Years and putting them out there, burying them out there. Wow. But Long Island is tricky. There was one bad guy there in Long Island. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. (laughs) I don't think they got him. I don't think they... I don't think so either. They found some kind of a big burial ground out there. Anyway, get back on the subject. All right, rock and roll. Yeah, rock and roll. (laughs) Not, Not... um, unfortunately, I get to watch a lot of ID investigation on TV. Um, <laughs> I have somebody, um, my wife, that likes to watch that, so I get to see all those gory killings and stabbings and missing people and body parts. Uh, I still watch Happy Days. Yeah, well, see, <laughs> I watch the T. I, I get. I don't get to watch the 50 inch. I get to watch the iPad. Because my iPad picks up my Bright House, so I get to watch everything on my iPad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not the 50 inch, but that's okay. okay <laughs> anyway. That Palladium channel is pretty good. I was concerts on all day. Bands I wouldn't even have known of. Yeah, I watched Todd on the other night. Todd Romerin was on yeah. the other night on Daryl's house. Daryl's house, yeah. <laughs> I watched that all the time. Daryl. Yeah. And, it, you know, we're going to get a show going like that, Daryl, so watch Darryl, out. Daryl, <laughs> yeah. Actually, that that's pretty it's much... It's giving us ideas. They just go, they travel, uh, he's probably, he's got he's got sponsors and they travel to the places. Like, they, they were, that was Todd's house. Yeah. In Hawaii. Oh, that, the last one with Todd, okay. Yeah, that's his house. Oh, I thought that was Daryl's house. No, Daryl took his crew and band and, and everybody and went to Todd's oh, house. Oh, went to Todd's because probably Todd didn't want to go to Daryl's Right, house. Todd didn't want to leave at Hawaii. I can't blame him. But yeah, no. Uh, Bill was, had the barbecue out there for him and everything. Right, Bill was <laughs> saying that Todd was having a lot of renovation going on at his house and and that, uh, that most of that was shot outside. Yeah. yeah. You saw. Yeah. You know, cause and they were kind of on the back porch with playing. With all the... Foliage and the greenery behind them. Yeah, playing all their uh, playing. I I, I just want to bang my drum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they did that kind of a uh, Hawaiian way in a cool way that they really did it. It was really kind yeah. Of I like the way they did it. <laughs> yeah. Then they showed the mountain in the background too. That big yep. old mountain. And I remember one of the band members saying, "I don't want to leave this." Yeah. He didn't want to yeah. leave. <laughs> But, uh, I'll move there someday. 
Yeah, that, Palladium's got a great TV station. Yeah, because I got to see Foreigner and Journey with the new singer. I never, you know, would have seen these bands, you know, and and plus a lot of the new bands I don't know the names of. Yeah. And I oh yeah, there's a lot of new bands out that there. That are really good that I wouldn't know the names of unless, you know, because of that channel I get right. to see them. Yeah, and and I jot down their names and I go and look at YouTube and I say, yeah, this is a good cool band, stuff. you know. They had sticks on it. Time for break. Yeah. They had sticks on concert on there the other night or last week or something and I watched the sticks. I watched the whole <gasps> concert. I said, oh my God. And I, I said, love them guys. Me too. And they, that. <laughs> the keyboard had to swivel. That yeah. keyboard thing on a swivel, yeah. and he would swivel around and look at the crowd and then the band. Yep. I said, oh, this is so, and the drummer, holy cow, yeah. he's awesome. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, we got to take a break. It went by that fast. I'm not used to having my, I got a bunch of screens down here in front of me. I'm not used to having my timer on. My timer's back. It's flashing. What's and that mean? That means, Will, shut the hell up and get off the air while we show... Love Child, a video of Steve. Is that one of yours, right? Of course. No, that's actually a, a Deep Purple Tommy Bowen song. Love Child. I wonder why he picked that one out. Oh, they're all under the band name. All right, well, watch the video. Just watch it. Don't go away. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be right back in about five minutes.
Are we on? What do you mean we're on? Okay. I'm, ha I'm having a little chat with my engineer. He's in another room. Actually, he's over at the Sunoco station. Yep. Um, <laughs> and he's remote. And we... How's the bathroom over there? Is it okay? Okay. Yeah, he's on the toilet over okay. there. <laughs> It smells a little funny. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I got Steve with me today again, uh, second week in a row, and we're going to roll it out again. Um, with views, 8,000. Something's going on with, with uh, another uh, person that I had on the show, and we're just curious about... Um, how that's going about, but as we're sitting here talking, and this morning as we're watching, somebody brought up something about he's got 31,000 views, and we're just saying, okay, did they run it f over in China, maybe? Uh, yeah. Maybe it was China. Maybe because there's 3 billion, billion people, uh, 30,000 views <laughs> in the morning would, would constitute uh, that kind of uh, viewing overnight. 31,000 views. Thank you, Todd Taylor. We love you. Yeah. Todd's a good man, banjo man, one of my good friends. Um, Steve blew the uh, blew the record out of the water <laughs> <laughs> by doing a couple thousand views overnight, um, with over 800 likes on Facebook and 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 other comments and everything like that. So. Um, my record holder still is uh, Steve for overnight and uh, for in, in a week. It's, it's it's another record in a week, actually. Yeah, I have the highest uh, likes. Mm -hmm. you know. So everybody actually really looks. Yeah, at they're looking at the they're, they're looking at the video. the full hour of it. So we're going to investigate it. I'm sure everything is cool because you want to know why. Todd Taylor is a class guy. And a good banjo player, and he'll be coming back. And we back. want a lot of views. Yeah, we, we want, want a lot of views. Todd, I hope you're just going crazy with that. Your promoter's probably, maybe your promoter's got a hold of that, which is what I'm thinking because yeah. I think the show got cut down to 29 minutes, and uh, which is good. You can watch it and what well, you know while you're driving down the road in 29 minutes. But it's yeah, a good, good show with Todd. Played a mean banjo in that show. Good views. This guy's going on 8,000 in one week. So we're just uh, blessed to have Steve come back again today. Thanks, Steve. I Thanks. really appreciate it. More than you know, and we're going to get him upstairs. Let's get back to one more remark, comment. Happy birthday, Mark Connors. We love you, too. Thank you for everything you're doing with us, for us. We appreciate it. Happy birthday to you today, March 14th. Mark Connors up there, over there in San Diego. God bless you, Mark. Have a great day. I just wanted to mention Mark. He's one of my favorite fellows. You get to meet him someday. Yeah, I'd like to meet him. And Gibson Cage. Yeah. We were going to have Gibson on today, but with Skyping and the um, being out here on the soundstage and not in the, the TV studio, which is in the room next door, we couldn't do a Skype today with, uh, with Gibson. But Gibson was nice enough to be on call for us. And, uh, be and here you had Jimmy Van Zandt Be on. here for us. If, yeah, Jimmy Van Zandt was on Tuesday. Watch that because that's at 2 o'clock. It was past Tuesday at 2 o'clock on uh, Worldwide Live with Bill Dietz. He was in next door in the other uh, TV studio. And he had Jimmy Van Zandt on there. And he also had Rich Ezra, uh, the music directory man. Uh, great guy and he'll be back and jim jimmy was a great a great skype you need to watch that he's quite yeah, a guy yeah I, I didn't have a chance to watch it you had to watch that video yeah. that 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 ended the show with his video uh, with him and his wife oh yeah um i guess it's a fairly new video isn't it kind of new it's not yes. that old it's up for the new tool, yes. oh it, it's fantastic video even uh, i mean i started watching and I, I had to watch it through the whole thing so it's that kind of a good video. Uh, we love you, Jimmy. Thank you for being on Bill's show. Skype, we hope to see you back, which we, you said you would. Appreciate that. Uh, let's go back to Steve. Steve, before I run out of time, because look, hey, my clock's not running. Uh-oh. I'm stuck at 11. Oh, that's cool. We got a whole, I guess uh -oh. we, get, we get some extra time. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh -oh, now it's at zero. <laughs> 
Oh, we got seven minutes. You got seven minutes. <laughs> no, okay. Anyways, Steve, tell them a little bit about that um, we were talking about earlier. Um, um, when with your neighbors, and you were uh, first of all, you would go to the beach, and, and you had your. Uh, my, yeah, tell me that. When I first moved here, I didn't know anybody, so I would go to the beach every day and just sit on the beach and play the acoustic guitar. And I still didn't know anybody f from doing that, so <laughs> I went home and I have a carport, and they were building a house next door to my house, and I had a, a Fender amp that had uh, backing tracks in it, uh, the GDEC amp. And I had a wireless, and I just used to go out in the carport and play out there while they were working on the house next door. Were you playing along with uh, music? With uh, background music background that music. came right out of the amp. You know, that's, that's the good. way that Fender amp is made. It's a GDEC. It has background it, rock or a samba or whatever, and the, and the guitar changes to the tone of that music. So it, oh, that's you know, cool. Like the guitar tone of change. If I put it on heavy metal, it would be all loud and distorted. Or if I put it on somber, it would be like clean guitar sound. Uh -huh. So and it would have a backing track. So I was had the wireless, and I was just learning how to use the wireless, see how far I could go in my yard. And then neighbors and everything started hearing this and started coming over. And then there was Wes Reimer that lived like four houses down from me. And he played the guitar and sang, and he had a band going that was in the rehearsal part of it. They weren't playing out yet. And then I joined up with them, and then we made Snake Eyes. And we rehearsed for like about six or seven months, and then started playing out with that band a lot, maybe like four to five times a week. And How long ago was that? 2008 to huh. 2009, well, about 10. 2010. And then um, I did a Tommy Boland song called Savannah Woman, and we got it on video, and I put it on YouTube, and I got a call from a Chicago producer that they were doing a re Tommy Boland tribute album, and they found a recording of Tommy Boland song called You Are No Angel, and it's just an acoustic guitar with him singing and they wanted me to finish it off, turn it into a song with drums and bass and everything. So we rehearsed it at home with the band and I made a demo tape, sent it back to the producer and he sent me to Nashville to record it with Troy Laquetta from Tesla and wow. Eric Martin, Martin cool. from Mr. Big, the singer. Mm -hmm. So I got there and I went in there with these guys and we recorded. And it took us 12 hours to do one song, but we got it done. And that's called You Are No Angel. It's a Tommy Bowen song that I reworked and turned into a, a regular rock song. And um, that's the first one you'll hear on uh, my Reverb Nation. Reverb? Yeah. And then the other songs after All that... All they have to do is type in Steve Murray on Reverb? I mostly have it on my Facebook page all the time, okay. where people could click right on it. you got a player on your page then? Yeah, right? I uh, like uh -huh. every few days I'll make sure that's on the top so everybody because people ask Steve can we hear your music uh, well, all we see is pictures and then I put it back up there and I said I got music it's just not pictures right <laughs> you know so uh, is it you, you got your Facebook connected with reverb don't you uh, yeah I have it connected with reverb myspace and uh, Twitter so when I it goes when you to post everything. it goes to everything post, it goes to Smart. everyone and YouTube too yeah, yeah, that's so, good. Yeah, that's a good good feature because it keeps yeah, everybody I, up to date. Up to date and lets everybody know what's going on. I, I always know everything's pretty cool in the morning when I see your good morning, everybody. And then you're like, yeah. and, and <laughs> I guess he's, he's doing good tonight because he says, everybody have a great night, uh, Steve, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I know everything's pretty cool with Steve. Uh, I see that every day. You can, everybody can I'm see that. I'm always positive no matter what. You know, I yeah, always that's good. And try to make other people positive too. Yeah. Yeah, life, that's that's know. true. I Everybody have a great day. <laughs> with 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 the way things are with, uh, with our government and uh, and the, and the being in Brevard County, which is the number one county in the country with the most foreclosures. Yes. Um and uh, probably a tough uh unemployment figure 
here in Brevard. It's kind of hard to stay positive, even when you got the beach across the street. Yes, it's right across <laughs> the street. <laughs> you, you go across the street and you run right into the water, and it's cold. No, it's yeah, not right. cold. Mm. It's nice today. But yeah, uh, yeah, stay positive is a good thing. Uh, we all of us need to be to, to do that. Yes. It's nice when you get with somebody that you can feel the vibe, that it's a good vibe and it's a positive yeah. vibe. I'm trying to get myself out of a little bit of a rut myself because of um, things, you yeah, know, it around Bavaria too. But yeah, other people are positive on Facebook and they give me the courage to move on right. and things too. That's you a know. good thing. And plus, uh, my neighbors are all great. Uh, the neighbors next door is two older women, and, and it's almost like they're my mother and my grandmother. Awesome. I talk to them every day about things that are going on, you know, to have somebody to talk to. <laughs> you know, I live in my house alone, and uh, we rehearse there. Geez, don't say that on this show. I mean, there's going to be 30,000 people that are going to say, there's only hey, this one guy's chair. alone in a house <laughs> in Coco. <laughs> hey, and then you're going to have all these women driving up. <laughs> Oh, he's got help. Oh, and I got a bouncer. He's, <laughs> hey, he's got a bouncer. Yeah, he did bring a bouncer today. You know, I got, I got uh, what do you call it, uh, shake down, make yeah. sure I didn't have any knives or guns on me yep. uh, this morning. Uh, <laughs> when he walked in the door, and then I said, it's Steve here. And then, of course, Steve came in behind then him. He, uh, I came in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, you got your own house. That's cool. And, yeah, and you're over there alone. Uh, what are you alone for? You got neighbors? You saying you got neighbors? Yeah, I'm, I have neighbors on both sides of me. Uh, we rehearsed there. We rehearsed there last night. In my the garage? You no, do that? my living Inside, room. You made your living room into a rehearsal? My living room is where we rehearse and do uh, demo recordings. Yeah. And That's then I cool. have the one bedroom I sleep in. The second bedroom I made into the TV room. And the third bedroom I made into the computer room with an extra, like a bunch of guitars and amps. There's a guitar or an amp wherever I walk in the house. I could grab one off the wall and multicolors. Yeah, this looks like the living room. Yeah, this looks like my living room. Yeah. That does. That's Pretty cool. <laughs> that is neat. <laughs> it's similar. <laughs> Uh-oh. So anybody that plays, you know, I invite over. Anybody who contacts me on Facebook and they say, oh, I can play. And I'm like, Got a drum set over. set up? Yep. Jeez. That's pretty nifty. I have a 68 uh, Ludwig uh, Super Sensitive snare drum I got on eBay for about $400, but it was worth it. It's like mint condition, and it sounds great. You know. What kind? A 68 Ludwig Super Sensitive, the one with the big contraption on each side. Oh, yeah. It sounds good really low or good loud. Wow. It's that's very, a good, that's it would an go, interesting drum. It would go drum. with this drum set right here. It would sound great. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I'm a, a Ludwig fan, and you know that anyways. Me too. I, I, love I grew up with Ludwig. We're going to take, we got to go to break because Keen is yapping in my, yep, 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 in my ear, and my purple screen is flashing saying, danger. Watch the video. Storm. Bringer. Bringer. Storm bringer. Watch this video. Don't go away. We're going to be right back with more Steve Murray. Thank you.
face. And I'm, I'm up. I'm up. Steve, what happened? Uh, okay. I just want to let you all know that, um, that um, Steve's just taking a quick break while I just say uh, something about sponsorship on the show. If you, if you uh, would like to sponsor, be a sponsor on the show and get out to the 31,000 plus or as many thousands that, uh, that Steve has, plus all the others that have thousands uh, that have watched the show, you can um, give me a call at uh, 321-505-11183 and get me right on my iPhone and uh, let me know that you want to be a sponsor on the show. Uh, we work with everybody. Uh, we'll take we'll take a a very reasonable amount to uh, have you mentioned on the show. We'll do a video of your business. We'll do a video of your band. We will do a video of whatever you want uh, for a small fee and put it on the show. And with banners behind us, uh, with banners during our breaks, and the videos that we show could be your business that we will go and videotape with a video camera and uh, show your store and your product or your band and so the people can hear or see your band. Uh, maybe you would like to come on to the show and, and play on the show with your band and we could talk about your band and, and what you're doing here in Brevard County. Not a problem. Easy to do. Very reasonable charge. Not a today, Florida Today charge or a magazine charge of $750 or $400. We're giving you a deal. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, we'll give you countless times of views on your, your advertisement because the, the, the advertisement will be on the show, on the Internet, on YouTube, and on our sites, and you can put it on your own site. For that one charge, you know, and if you want to be on all the show, Bill Dietz's show, uh, we I, I'm, I'm probably going to say go out on a limb, but I'm sure Trip Trip Spring is going to have his show here next week about uh, Brevard News. Uh, great show that that'll be coming up next week. Call me, I'll uh, give you a price you can't refuse to have your business band or whatever you want to advertise on the show. Um, we support Brevard musicians. Support us supporting them by doing a sponsorship on the show. Make a donation. Y'all watch the show. There's a little tab on there. That, that money will help the musicians. I haven't received a penny on 25 shows. I've sponsored them myself. Uh, I would like some help from all you people in Brevard or around the world by making a donation or by being a sponsor. I'm sure you can handle that. <laughs> you know, uh, these guys are great musicians. They're, they're, and they're lovable guys and ladies, which I'll have more on the show that are musicians too. Do it. 505, 321-505-1183. And if you want to call, just uh, Mr. Soundwave2013 at gmail.com. Mr. Soundwave. All This is all one. Mr. Soundwave. 2013 at gmail.com and email me and I'll give you a price that you're going to say, wow, that's a great deal. Well, uh, you're going to put my business on there or my band on there or my church function on there or whatever you got. We'll put it on the show. We've got people like Steve and Mark Connors and Shane Wooten, Todd Taylor, Jack Starr, Russ Kellum. I mean, I can give you on 25 shows. Plus, we have Bill's show that's eight strong now, too, that's uh, pulling in, you know, important people from around the world. Give a call. I, uh, it's very easy. Uh, I'll give you a price you can't refuse. I, I won't, I'm not out to break you like the magazines are uh, with 10,000 publications, which is BS. Um, and I'm not afraid to say that because they tell you that, but they're only putting out a most of them go in the garbage. They don't even reach the viewer or the reader. Reader in that case. Uh, or the Florida Today. Would, um, I'm sorry about that too, but come on on the show and, and, and uh, uh, give me a call rather and I'll, I'll take care of you on your business and we'll promote you right here on the show. Okay? 
321-505-1183 or Mr. Soundwave2013 at gmail.com. Take the one. I've got to bring Steve back out here. I'm talking about advertising, and I've got Steve here today. I took his afternoon of uh, this Thursday afternoon, and I was out at the beach. <laughs> he was out at the beach playing his guitar. Um, and he was playing. He was playing at a very nice beach. It's kind of chilly today for us. It's it's seventy. Windy. It's a little windy, but Steve likes to play Linda Beach. <laughs> Oh, that's a joke. Don't, don't, don't. I, I, I don't say that. Which, which, oh yeah, play Linda's uh, lot 13, and Steve likes to play on lot 12. Yeah. Which is the next beach over. So From he, the nude beach. He goes over there, and he jams on his acoustic or electric, and, and all the nudies walk around. <laughs> hey, I'll be there. I'll, I think. <laughs> okay. I'm the guy with the clothes on. Okay. <laughs> Daggers and knives coming from the audience. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Steve did do that. He did play on the beach, though. You did, you did do some stuff on the beach, too, when he first got here. But he doesn't need to do that now because he'll have an audience if he goes on the beach <laughs> and plays now because um, he's well-known here in Brevard. It took a while. <laughs> Yeah, it took I a lived while. in Titusville at the time, and I just didn't know anybody. Titusville anybody. is, is um, it's kind. Of, there's no music there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Titusville. Uh, it's a nice it's empty place. A little bit. It's kind of empty a little bit. Uh, when the shuttle was gone, it is empty. When the shuttle was gone, it yeah. was booming, and of course we kind of lost the shuttle and. Uh, Let's give it to Iraq or Afghanistan, and then let's shut the shuttle down. And I'm, a, oh, forget Obama. I, we can't keep blasting the poor guy because we all know it's the Republicans before him, and I'm a Republican. Um, so we won't go there. That's another show. Check Trips show out. <laughs> Trip Spring. Next I like week. Clinton. <laughs> no, a lot of people like Clinton, even my wife likes Clinton. Because he was a musician. So Yeah, and he did really well. We weren't in we weren't in the in the, in the red. Yeah. Uh, we didn't Things have a deficit. Were going pretty there was good, no Ed. deficit when Clinton left the office. None. Nothing. None. And then we got Mr. Shyster in there for eight years <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, he snowballed us and now we're and now we're paying for it. Sixteen trillion in the hole. Now we hate the next guy. That's so, in there. <laughs> and I and I'm backing up TC too because I love you too, TC. Uh, just to let you know that even though I am a Republican, <clears throat> uh, they're all in the same cahoots. We're, we're, it's, a, it's a show. We need to put like our show. Here. Like our show. <laughs> we're talking music when we're talking not right now, but this is what they do up there too. Yeah. Hey, we go. We don't even have a script. Yeah, they have, yeah, they they have do. a script, cards out there. Let's hope the new Pope can do something for us. Then. Yes. We love you. We love the new Pope. I thought Mick Jagger, he's going to be the new Pope. I swear, I don't know. <laughs> Mick Jagger is going to be the new Pope. I like that. All right, Steve's back. Steve was telling us uh, a little bit about uh, where they're playing Saturday. We, we had talked about that earlier. And, and, and the garage and the, and the house is set up. Yes, it's for basically just a music house. You walk in my house, it's music wherever you go. It's and even outside, I have a stage out in the backyard. <laughs> just, we need to go up there and do the show. Yeah, we'll have to do like we'll have a barbecue. We'll do it like Daryl's house. We'll have a barbecue. We'll have the bands play. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's See, we could bring one. the cameras and everything, and we bring them all up there. And You've got daytime. everything there. All we got to do is bring the cameras. Yeah. And I, Damn. That's a good invite. Okay. We're going to check that we're out. We're going to check this I'm gonna out. I'm going to take him up on that. Yeah, once it wait gets a little, it's, a little wait warmer. Wait until he gets that. I, we're ready, Steve. All right. <laughs> no, you can get everything together. Or maybe the know. CD release party. We have oh, something like that. Hey, yeah, that's a good idea. Three-stage power. Who's the show? <laughs> that's a good idea. Huh? Who's the show? Food in a CD release party. Food and the CD release party. There we go. That's a great idea. A big Florida barbecue. You got it. Man. Did we'll you have that? a pig roast. Uh, pig roast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool, too. That All right. That's really cool. 
All the neighbors yeah, will be yeah, into yeah, it. All the neighbors that have helped me, you know, throughout this, they all want me to keep the windows open on my house to hear what we're <laughs> playing. And I tell the band, don't make any mistakes because everybody's listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you got your part down. <laughs> yeah, did you notice the van out on the street with the little the antenna up on top? Oh, yeah. Was that you guys? <laughs> no, that wasn't us. They're out there. They're out there, and they got all their recorders going, okay, get this one down. Get that track yeah, that's down what there. Yeah, <laughs> Check for white vans on your street, Yep, Steve. they're stealing. They're, they're, they're stealing my songs. <laughs> Oh, who knows? But Be careful with that. Anyways. <laughs> Why did I say that? Anyway, we're cool. It's a nice neighborhood. Yeah, it's a, you're... Uh, it would almost be like a, a block party. Because I know everybody on the block. Everybody knows me as guitarist Steve. We, could we have one here, too? Yeah. Because they got a parking lot out there in the beach? Yeah. And we could just have it, uh, stream it all right here, a party, your that CD release? Be, yeah. We'll have that here live and then maybe videotape one another one at my house your house yeah well we could actually start here and carry it over and to there. carry right over you'd have everything set up over there and we just load up everything here and go over and set it up you could be playing while we're setting up and we'll get it we're All gonna right. do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do this you like this idea yeah then everybody around the world could see my house oh, <laughs> boy. then they're gonna know where you live they're going to put GPS. Don't worry, I, I got a bodyguard over there. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're going to be a busy man. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to hire a few people. <laughs> what is my engineer yelling about now? Oh, the show's over. It's not done yet. I'm watching the clock over here. I still got three or four minutes left. We're not going anywhere. Don't listen to the engineer, okay? <laughs> Did I pay you yet, Keem? <laughs> oh, darn, I already paid him. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. We're going to go a little bit longer, Keen, and because I just wanted everybody to know that this Saturday we're over at the Dog and Bone. Yes. Coco Village. The full GS Teaser Band with Jim Griffin yeah. on vocals, great vocalist, me on guitar, Bill Wixon on bass, and Chris Richardson on drums. So a full show of, you know, the songs, the the way we play them. Yeah, it's, uh, gotta, I'm, uh, I'm going to check with... It's covers and originals. I'm going to check with the boss and see if we can... I'm going to guarantee you... I'm going to say... I'm going to guarantee you... We'll, I'm going to stop by there. Okay. I will be there. All right. Uh, and if I take Keen or anybody else with me, we'll, uh, we'll come up. And Definitely. we'll be doing videos. There's uh, another video guy, uh, Scott Boggs. He's a great video guy that records know, all the bands... In, in Brevard County, yeah, and he's recorded he mine is. a few times. He's coming down that night. He's going to record the whole show. And then um, my bodyguard over there, he's going to record the show in case anybody tries to attack me. <laughs> he's a, I think somebody just, Keen just said he's a Brevard music lover? Yeah, Brevard music lover. He's the one that there you go. has his YouTube videos. Yeah, man, he's a great guy. Yeah. Boy, that's pretty nice. You in the video? T oh, I'm gonna stop up, but yeah. You know, so it will have a lot of. I'm cameras gonna stay out going. of your way. I mean, I'm, I, I don't. I don't like going up and bothering the musicians. Um, oh well, there's a lot of other people that do that. So <laughs> you, I'll, I'll let you know that I'm there, but I'll wave to you and say, yeah, "We're here, Steve." Well, I'll okay. let you know that, but I ain't gonna bother you. It's your show. But I'm, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, that. we play more like we're a concert. You know, it's like a concert. You know, the songs we play. Do they have seats or is it a stand thing? There tables? Oh, there's tables and drinks and it's St. Patrick's Day weekend. There's going to be a lot of drinking. I'm Italian. And I don't, you know. I'm drink. sorry, I'm Italian. I'll be wearing uh, orange. You'll, oh, see, okay. you'll see me because I'll have that orange shirt on that says I'm a guinea. I'm Italian. No. I'll try to have something on green. I don't think it'll go with my orange guitar, though. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> they just see the green shirt, you'll be okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's this Saturday, uh, Coco Village. Um, maybe we'll see the video sometime. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll put it's Scott. He'll put them on, Scott and then Bob? I'll have videos too. You know, and I'll be putting them on my YouTube, and he'll be putting them on his. And yeah, I'll we'll, show up with my camera, and, and then it right they'll away. be all over. <laughs> 
I'll put it out before I get home, and they're done. They're not even done yeah, playing. Yeah, we're not yet. even playing. I'll have it <laughs> on a portion of it on my. No, because it takes me a few days to get it on there. After. <laughs> I'll get keen right on it. Because I inspect them all, make sure nobody made mi mistakes and Steve's everything. Steve's gonna show up Saturday night, and it's gonna be this big old massive camera standing in front of the stage. He's gonna go. That oh, one? Oh my God! What the hell is that thing doing here? You'll know I mean. <laughs> Yeah, so we, uh, we want to really thank Steve for uh, coming down here this afternoon on Thursday and bailing me out on a Tuesday. And uh, for all the viewers that he has out there that like Steve, the, he, Steve, just Steve as himself and Steve as a guitar player and musician, a great guy. I mean, he came and bailed me out by being here this afternoon. Uh, and and it, wasn't a, it wasn't that he was the only guy that I went to, he was was the only guy that I went to because I wanted him on back on the show. If I had it, and I and I and I was lucky enough to have him come by. It's it's a. Uh, I owe it's you. no problem. I I love coming down here. I mean, uh, I think this is a great show, and I think what you're doing is really good for all the Brevard musicians and the worldwide musicians. Yeah. Because you're getting Jimmy Van Zant and other yeah. people on here, and Chris Rizzola is coming on, Chris is and on. he's coming on with Jim Griffin, and he Jim is a great singer. Jim's a great singer. You'll you see know. Jim. Uh, you'll see Jim here on the open mic next month. Yeah, he'll be with my band next month, and, and then uh, you'll be recording. And well, you're not sure. Yeah, that. within the, the next couple of weeks, we'll be down here. And we, and we your mix of uh, musicians will be a, a. You're not quite sure who you have chose, so. Yeah, that's that's that'll be at a later date, I'm sure. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably be the, most of the GSTs or band, maybe. Right. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. A yeah, guest yeah. person here and there on maybe the drums or the bass or something. You need to get Bill on the drums. Yeah, I I've never seen him play. Oh, Bill is a good drummer. Mm -hmm. Bill. I was just telling him, even you might get help him out on the drums if he needs a drummer here and there no, uh, on on some of his tracks. At the, oh, he's I never heard you play. Well, I would love to. Uh, Max Flyer, he played with the band Max Flyer. Oh, okay. Which, uh, which is a good band. And yeah, I heard the, the band. We've been around for. <laughs> They've been around a while, and they're putting all their... Well, you're only like 28, right? Yeah. You've only been well, around about since high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once we hit a certain age, we start going backwards. Yep. Bill's we all age. die young. Right. Remember yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about when you die young, but I don't know how it sure feels old. <laughs> One of Chris Rizzola's songs, We All Die Young. Oh, yeah. Steel Heart. Yeah, Steel Heart, that's the name of the song. Yeah. We All Die Young. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But w he's going to be doing that here at the studio, and, and we'll keep you posted on that. And um, uh, Steve on Facebook will let me know where they're playing, not only this weekend, but I'll, I'll keep you, let me know <coughs> yeah, where I'll you're keep going. You, yeah. So I can say it on next week's show, because next week I have, um, I think I have, um, what do they call it? Fun? Fun oh, Pipe. It might be Fun Pipe. I think it is. I know that name. I haven't seen them, but I'm I haven't. I haven't either, but they've been around. Yeah. Uh, they're playing, I think, this week, too, somewhere. Uh, I think they're on the show next week or in the future with Prophecy Z14. I'm trying to get them fellas on. They're okay. another good metal band. Yeah. And Zen 4.0. Yep. Zen's been around a while. They're on the 28th. And Steve will be here on the 27th for an open mic, and yeah. you can watch that, by the way. That'll be live. On That'll be live right here, right, and on the stage right here. Who else is going to play? Um, I'm trying to get Russ and Cam to play. Okay. Unleashed, I might unleashed and Unchained. Maybe Wes will be here. Maybe I could get his other band. Yeah. All right. Talk to him. Yeah, well, we'll get I'll him. I'll send him a one. note, too, because yeah. he's a friend on Facebook. I'll send him a note. We're all on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, check Steve out. 72 different Steves. <laughs> He's got 72 different sites, and they're all jam-packed with likes already, friends already. I can't even be his friend on Facebook because he's got so many. <laughs> they won't allow me. They say, he's got too many. Yeah. What the hell is that about, Facebook? You yeah. mean I can only have 5,200 friends? Yeah, my other one, I, they let me have... 5,180 or something like that. And Who let it go over. <laughs> and they let it go over. 
I don't know why. Yeah. But usually they stuck it, you know, they stick at the 5,000, but for some reason on my first page, they let it go over to 5,180. Yeah, I, I heard 52 is close to being max or something like oh, that. Oh, it's 52 now? Yeah, oh, okay. something like that. And uh, I might well, what kind of a person do they have they sitting there? Because they want you to go to the like page and pay for that. The guy's sitting in an office somewhere over there going, Hey, 5,200 people. That's all the <laughs> likes it. you can have. Uh, anyways, we love Facebook. Steve likes, uh, I love Facebook too. We love you. Thank you, guys. Watch Steve. Uh, if you didn't catch a show at 2 o'clock live, we'll be up and running with my Superman Keen, the engineer. I'll have it up and running very shortly. Watch his videos. We're going to watch the last one called Ride the Wind. That's when he, that's... That's... You. Yeah, no, that's a, a Tommy Bolin, James Gang song. With but you're playing guitar. Oh, I'm playing a guitar, of course. Of yeah. course, yeah. <laughs> the other one before that was my original song. I'm Moving On? Yeah. They just played, I saw it on the... Oh, okay, that's one of my originals. Yeah, watch the video right now. With covers um, and originals, so it is, you know, because we have to play for four hours. And your know. CD <laughs> that you're going to be recording is all originals? Right? Yes, of course, yes. Cool. Yes, all original. Watch Steve, please. Okay, we love you. God bless you. Thanks for watching the show today. Thank you, Steve, very much. Be strong.